Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sarah here from Melbourne's Vegan and I've got another delicious recipe to share with you today. I'm so excited about this one especially because it used to be one of my favorite things to make before I was vegan. And ever since Woolworths have bought out this new vegan bacon, I have been using it in so many recipes and I was so excited to recreate carbonara because as I said, it used to be one of my favorite things to make. It's actually so easy. All I had to do was replace the cream cheese with cashews and replace the other cheesy component with nutritional yeast and it worked out perfect like it is so similar to the real thing I think you could almost fool a non-vegan into thinking that it was real I'll leave the recipe below um, and you can also follow along now and see how I made it so all you needed for this recipe was a bunch of cashews mushrooms garlic nutritional yeast onion vegan bacon and pasta as well as of course a bit of salt and pepper and a tiny bit of olive oil as well to cook off the onions later. I just started by boiling my cashews for about 10 minutes in some hot water. Obviously it's hot if we're boiling it, but anyway. Um, and then I chopped up my onion as finely as I could. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter how fine you cut it, but I personally like it to be quite fine and don't mind my cutting skills here i'm sure i'm not doing that right but it works for me um, and then i chopped up my two giant garlic cloves as finely as i could and then i just sliced up my mushrooms into little pieces as well then i went ahead and cut up my vegan bacon into little bite-sized pieces too so i got this from woolworths for about seven dollars fifty and i've seen pretty much the exact same thing at coles just different branding for i think around 10 or 11 dollars so if you're wanting to buy this i would definitely recommend going to woolies i'm almost positive that they're the exact same manufacturer or something just different branding um and then so i chopped that all up in like 10 minutes and then my cashews were nice and soft by then so i added them to my bullet blender with some water and i blended that until smooth i usually find that my bullet blender actually makes sauces and things a lot better than the actual big blender that i can stick on top there i'm not sure why that is but i always find the bullet to be a lot better and blends it a lot smoother and then I boiled my water for my pasta and I salted that and I don't even know what salting it does but I see everyone do it and I think it's good so I do that too. Um, chucked in my pasta and then it was time to get cooking all the other ingredients so I added just over a tablespoon of garlic infused olive oil. You can use any olive oil you want, it doesn't have to be garlic infused but I personally prefer that. I cooked off my onions, salted them. And then I chucked in my garlic too. And I let that all sizzle for a couple of minutes. Then I made a little sort of well to chuck my bacon in and let that all fry off. And I ended up adding in like a little tablespoon of butter too, just because I think I thought it needed like a little bit more oil or fat to help get the bacon a bit crispy. And then I chucked in all of my mushrooms too. And I let this all cook off for probably five or six minutes, just until the mushrooms were soft. And then look how creamy the garlic, uh, sorry, the cashew sauce is. Like it is crazy how you can make such a creamy consistency from just cashews and water. Um, my pan was a wee bit hot here, so I ended up adding in like a tiny little dash of water just to help kind of loosen things up a little. And then I added in my nutritional yeast, which helped get a really nice cheesy flavor going. And then I chucked in my pasta and I also added in a tiny bit of pasta water too, just to again, help everything kind of bind together. And oh, it was so like, creamy and dense and hard to mix together but that's how carbonara should be um look at how freaking amazing that looks oh and then i taste tested it obviously it tasted freaking beautiful then i plated it up i kind of struggled using these little mini tongs that i have um 
so it didn't look aesthetically pleasing as I would have liked it to when I was plating it up but that's okay it doesn't really matter um, and I just made sure that I kind of got a bit of extra mushroom and bacon on top there and wow tell me that doesn't look like the real deal so delicious so hearty so filling and just so similar it's definitely going to be something that I'm going to be recreating again and again and again and anyway that brings us to the end of the video I hope you like it and I hope you try it if you do let me know and I will see you next time